welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video in this video we have a mark 6 astra it's this is actually the gtc version if you look just here as you can see what we're going to be doing is changing the pollen filter so come to the passenger side let me just open it right to do this it involves removing the glove box so what you have to do first is remove this panel here so what to do you got your door rubber just here if you can just pull that out it is a bit awkward let me just put the camera down and hopefully As you can see, I've just pulled the rubber out just from there. You just pull it out like that. There you go. That's all you have to do. And then all you have to do is just pull this out. This actually comes off, as you can see. It's on one, two, three, it's on four clips. So, there you go. Put that to one side. Open your glove box. Once you open your glove box, you will actually have one, two, and just there, where my finger is, three, seven mil bolts, what look like that, and then there's seven mil. So I have already took that one out just to show you, and that one is located just there. So all you do is come here, this one out here as you can see make sure you pull them safe so you don't lose them so I'm just going to set you up for this hopefully you'll be able to see There you go. So I'm just going to be, I'm doing this one. <laughs> Hopefully you can, there you go. And then what you do, you just pull your glove box forward slightly. Tell a lie, you do actually have another one just there, as you can see. Another one just there, so I'm just going to want to do that one as well. Make sure you support it when this one's undone because the glove box will drop. As you can see, now your glove box is free. The best thing to do, you have this wire, as you can see, which is just there. All you have to do to that is just unclip it, which is just Put your fingers like that and pull it out like that and the light will actually come out. I can't actually do it why because I'm trying to hold the camera and show you at the same time but once I get it loose I'll show you. So let me just set you back up. Right. 
Right, so as you can see, while I was on about this wire, just clips in there. If you come to this side here, you'll see this little tab clip. All you have to do is press that in. Once you press it in, it pulls out. I actually used something like that, which actually helped me. So I just pushed it into the side and then pulled it out and it comes straight out. Right. So, now your glove box is out the way. If you come to this location, just here, as you can see, this is where your cabin filter is. So you'll have a little clip just here. All you have to do is just pull that clip out and that's how they come down. Same here, pull it out and it'll actually flap down. So, as you can see, I know my hand's in the way, but I'll show you once it comes down. There you go. And then that one, and then that comes down. And here is where your cabin filter is located. Now, it is important if you just look right here, you will see an arrow. That is showing you which way the flow comes in. So it is important when you replace yours, that is pointing the same way. Right, so let's just get our new one. The one we're using today is the same one, which is this one. Um, I don't know, let me just see if I can get the part number on it. That's your actual part number, as you can see there. Whether that helps anybody or not. But if it does, then there you go. So let me just set you back up, pull this one out. We'll have a quick look and then we'll replace the new one. I'm just going to actually be using a pick just to go in there, just to walk it, and then just to pull it out just like that. So all I've done, so you imagine that being like that, I've just got the pick, pushed it in the edge like that, and then just pulled it forward. And there you go, as you can see, that's our old cabin filter, and that's our new one. So bear in mind, like I says, with the arrow, get the arrow, as you can see, it's facing down as well. Just push it straight back in the way you removed it. Push it up, you'll actually hear it click. Once it clicks in place, you know there's that it's a lot, it's shut. So what we're gonna be doing now is pulling the wire back on. So I'll open the glove box like that, so wait, I'll push the wire back in, like that. When you do that, it is a good idea just to open the glove box, just to so you can see the light's working. So as you can see, that light, light's actually lit up. I don't know whether you can see that. So shut, open it up, the light lights up, like that. So we'll just open it now, get your glove box, make sure this wire don't catch on anything when you push it back together. Once you put it back together, I always recommend pulling one screw in the top, just there first. Just to start off with, because then once you've got one screw in the top just there, it will actually hold it and stop it from falling. Well, it's like anything, taking it to pieces, it's just like the reverse of pulling it back together. <laughs> so, to be fair, it's a fairly straightforward job. No you need to be hand tight as you can see, that's just hand tight, and one just there, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, that one just there, I will show you again, just so you can see it, so just there, you got one bolt, just there as well, and as you can see, I'll just put it in, So 
tighten it up. And there you go. Just going to be pouring. So, pouring this one back in now. I want to put that one back in. Shut the glove shut the glove box or leave it open i do prefer to leave it open and put that panel back on and then get your rubber and push your rubber back together okay so as you can see all the screws are back in now i've left the glove box open here as you can see you've got let me just pull it down you have one two three four tabs so as you can see this one just here slides into this one just here and you'll have another one here there there and then one at the bottom so what I do is I push the top end in first like that as you can see all that's in you can actually leave it clipping as you can see all that's clipped in and then all we have to do is just get our rubber seal, push it all the way in. As you can see, it is a bit hard because I am trying to hold the camera, hold the camera and do this at the same time. But there you go. All back together. Shut your glove box and there you go. Open your glove box. As you can see, the light's still working open shut there you go and that's all it is to replacing your pollen filter in a mark 6 astra like i says this one's the actual g this one's the actual gtc version astra so yeah there you go if this video helped you out at all please consider subscribing to the channel for further videos liking the video as that does help at all give it a thumbs up and share subscribe definitely if you like a safe future videos like this i'm actually going to leave it there now and stop waffling on and until next time i'll catch you in another one